Danganronpa. From here on out, no more hearts being lost. I was just protecting you. You're my fish. What? Okay, let's lock in, Siku. Let's lock in, man. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Togami and Makoto showed up together. Uh. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. We were actually investigating. What were you doing? Any second. You could show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But... We stood there for five full minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why isn't Monokuma showing up yet? Yeah, what's up with Monokuma? Do, do we have to do go down the locker? <laughs> Maybe he died again? Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here? Or... Oh. Late, man. Or what? <laughs> Did that scare you? I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm? What? I made you wait? You've got it all backwards. You're the one making me wait. Yeah, what? In other words, I mean, for everyone to arrive, we can't start till everyone's here now, can we? Everyone's showing up. Huh? What are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punch the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange for a punishment right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. Then we all heard that voice. We sprung around to look. Hey! Hey! Ha! <laughs> I knew she wasn't dead. Yo, you know Makoto, hype as heck. K Kyoko! Uh. Kyoko, you're still alive! Now what you gotta say now, Togami? Point the fingers at me. Anyway, hustle your buttons onto the elevator. Or your butts onto the elevator. I'll be one step cl step ahead of you. Hey, hey, when the Kuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko, where the heck was she? <laughs> like, <laughs> so you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course, I didn't die. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Perhaps that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Yeah, because, yo, who's who's actually dead and who actually killed them? <laughs> Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it t during, we could do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Togami stepped into the elevator. I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. No! <laughs> oh, man, I thought I was about to click on that. It's gonna bring me down there without even talking. <laughs> Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used the key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So, Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. <gasps> the key does go to the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Interesting. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. <sighs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down. Just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go into a trial completely uninformed, can I? Hey, hey, hey. So that's why you were late. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be, to be precise, not quite. In other words... I use Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. Yeah, what? She got a secret tool? Secret tool? How is that going to be useful for the trial? We can't go over all the details after we get through the, sh the, the trial, okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her, yeah. Something to have to do with her memory loss thing? The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's crucial? It's a crucial moment for her? Goodbye. Unless something else is going on. But she showed up at in his, in his room at nighttime too, so... Well, if that's all. I'm seemingly concerned Kyoko made her way to the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? I don't know, man. Being the last one, I stepped into the elevator. Despair, man. What? I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, he redecorated? <laughs> Yo, this isn't too colorful. 
I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Thrills, chills, kills. Let's get on with the show. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you. Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. Mm -hmm. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. Hero, get Kyoko's with the page, man. Right yeah, like... No, that's a ghost! So I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Okay. Her traits? Yeah, like... One important trait that Kyoko has to prove the body doesn't belong to her is... I know it's not the face, I mean, the face is gone. Her piercing glare. I got it! I'm talking about her gloves. Yeah, that's the only They'll one. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it okay, would be helpful yeah. if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. Togami, you were there when, Mon and when you have Monokuma to told us. Yeah. In fact, Monokuma told me. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Ooh. Oh, she's like, oh. dang, <laughs> he knows. <laughs> you no, know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Yep, there wasn't. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse was Kyoko. But if I can prove why, we're stuck here and the case won't move forward. We're stuck trying to really prove this on a hero's ridiculousness. So I don't have any choice, but I really have to deal through this. Tattoo in the right hand, exploded body analysis. Hold up, what do you mean by exploded body analysis? Okay, I let I let it play out. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is absolutely Kyoko. Mm. This entire discussion is idiotic. It is. That's that's why I'm just like, what's the point of this? Okay, don't do either. I know that body is in Kyoko's, and I know I can prove it. Wearing gloves. Oh, that's wrong. Never mind. <laughs> Must have been wearing gloves. That's not it either. Then what the heck? Do not that either. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to lose all my lives in the beginning, man. She must have been wearing gloves. No, it's wrong. What are the choices? No. Fake nails. There's no way the corpse was be wearing. Be quiet, be quiet, Makoto. What are the choices? Fake nails, the body explosion, and then tattoo on the right hand. Right? I think the tattoo on the right hand would serve the same. Okay, Whatever anyways. It was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? Okay. I imagine trying to wear gloves over oh, I get, okay. like that. Okay, I see where he's going with that logic. Okay, never mind. Because we're talking about the gloves, Besides, okay. Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Don't you think? Okay, I see where he's going with that logic. I follow that. I don't think you could also said tattoo, women, huh? though. Complicated like that. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? I don't want to hear you talk no more, hero. Man, you got me a little salty with that. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Mm-hmm. Before anything, we have to we have we have to identify the victim. Yep. Everything starts from here. Sprinklers, exploded body. Kyoko really is still alive. Okay. Who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond recognition. It was scorched, yeah. There wasn't yeah. any description in the Monokuma file. Oh, if we can't identify the body... Then we can no identify we the can body, do, right? though. We can, so it's the last one. We can identify it based on the tattoo on the right hand. Oh, if we can't identify the body... Yep, we can. No, it's wrong. From here on out, no more hearts being lost. 
Stop the cap. <laughs> I was gonna say this in the beginning, but there apparently. Okay. Yep. What? Where'd that come from? This dude. Ignore them, Makoto. Thank you, you know. Man, I'm not in the mood for these shenanigans. Yo. Is the tattoo on the back of her hand? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master a wolf. must have made her get it to be like, you're my bitch. What? Seriously? <laughs> they really did something that humiliating? No, that's man. Not we are dealing with some idiots on this, man. Man, <laughs> if we compare the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should become clear. Um, yeah, we have the... I got it! The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Yep. Okay, I'll call him right there. Okay, so... Let me drive left. Show that they're a Dang, member of the team. Each my soldier <laughs> that joins the squad... Mm -hmm. ...would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Mm hmm And... Fenrir? Yep. The image that represents Fenrir, Fenrir is... Oh. Okay. Oh, I get to do this? Oh, Hangman's Gambit. I got this. I got this. Wolf, right? Yep. Let's go. Light work. Now I understand. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that song actually kind of nice. Yo. <laughs> Look at Toko over there. Fenrir. The Wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology, a huge world. Oh, you're world. quite knowledgeable on this. He's the child of the trickster god Loki, and a female giant. That was actually a kind of crazy story. Time, finally got a glimpse of the literary oh, yep, literary, yep. For once, she's actually using her literary knowledge. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Indeedo. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. Mm-hmm. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Yep. That that's a good connection right she there. The one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised, but you're absolutely right. What? Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro. It is! Wow! Been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first yeah, place. why did Kyoko tell me that? <laughs> like... Yeah, but it said After ultimate... All, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything mm -hmm. that would fit such a description. True. Well, I mean, they seem quite all it deadly. All was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from... Kyoko. That's what you told oh, Makoto, right? Why did she tell it? Well, yeah, especially if you had that paper. Like, what? Yeah, what? Who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time, and when she finally turns up, she gets killed. That kind of. Usually, when there's a scene hey, where an character dies, it has a lot more detail. Huh. True. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Hmm. Then who's yeah. the real mastermind? Who is the real mastermind? The Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. Oh, yo, Kyoko confident with that. Trust that. We already yeah, know after that, like Mukuro was wrong. Oh, what's she about to say? She's about My to say something? Was not wrong. Oh. Um, one of us killed one of them? But wait, no. It looks like everyone there's has a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. If there's another person, that'd be hilarious. No. Nope. But here's the clue. Yeah, here he said. Students in total that have been taking part in these events. Hmm. Students. Oh, seriously? Then 16 one of students. us killed Mukuro? Unless it's Who someone else. Did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Huh? 
I'm Wait, what? sure you we realize have? who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Yeah, it's only me and Kyoko. I got it. Right? Narrowed it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Yeah, okay, I'm following you. Just after <laughs> about to say. Last night, I went to the garden. So I can they really put Toko and Jensai Jill up there? At that point, there was no dead body there. So, yeah. the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. Mm -hmm. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire yeah, time. Yeah, they were in the gym the entire time. The gym? Yep. That's right. The four of us were there trying to... Why does she sound surprised about that? whole time we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. Yep. You proud of that? Of which <laughs> like the way he said that, he sounded like, we even went to the alibis. bathroom in pairs. <laughs> yep, it's Makoto and Kyoto, yep. Mm -hmm. That's why you're able to narrow down the Oh yeah, true, suspects. yeah. Exactly so. Oh yeah, because yeah, she doesn't know about this mental health but yeah. The only so the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Dang it. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Okay. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took smart, place. Smart, smart, smart. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help them out. Is it going to be Hina? Me and Byakuya can All right, guys, never mind. that the body wasn't in the garden at... <laughs> Seven. It was after nighttime for sure. Oh, after that. Oh, yeah. It's, it must have been they're in there again. Oh, so around 10 o'clock, there was no body so there. the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Oh, but what time did we find the body? Between 10 and 9. Well, that's when Toko, or I guess Genocide Jill, apparently the found it. Saw the body first what time was the body discovered? 9 o'clock. I got it! Mm. The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Yeah. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. Yep. Man, that's a lot For of me, time, man. The murder happened between 10 a.m. and 9 a.m. And I don't have an alibi for 10 a.m. until 7.30. Okay. Okay, then it looks like the game has begun. If I can't prove an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. Okay. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. Okay, so it's probably have to relate to the tarp and the body being wet and whatnot or something. There's also the chicken coop. Close the body analysis, fragments of the dead body, sprinklers. Okay, let's let this play out. The time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in bad. the morning. Yeah. Yep. And Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7 30. 10 o'clock to 7 30, yeah. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So, Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. And one of my things I had. Oh, uh, something that happens in the garden at the same time every morning. Yep, the sprinklers. Yep, thinking about the course, it's totally dry, which in this case, it should be able to figure out when the body must have appeared in the garden. So after the sprinklers, um, so after seven. From here on out, no more hearts being lost. Wait, what? Dang it! I, I did lose a heart, man. So it's the first one. What? Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. Oh, because it couldn't. It had to okay. have taken place way later. Okay, so I just had to select the time. Okay. It's hers was later. Okay. And what makes you Man, it's that? like the... <laughs> it's like I'm following the it, but then it's the like party. the choices there. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? Okay, I gotta change my perspective when so I'm the body had been in the answering them. Even though I know the answer. Kind then of. it should have been completely soaked. Yeah. Because I was going with 7.30 because oh, I... Okay. I remember this part perfectly. 
The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. Yeah, it wasn't. I'm wrong? Yep, the whole body wasn't wet. Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such a decent word! You sick? No one was thinking that. I didn't prove that it wasn't the sprinkles that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence that should do it. The tarp? If we look at the body itself, that should make it clear. Okay. Okay, oh, you're just gonna care? Okay, we're doing this then. Dang, this is forever. Oh, how can you this should prove it? Oh man. <laughs> Yo, I thought I had to change the wheel thing and do it for a second. Man. <laughs> I just, just pressed remember it just what the body was <laughs> like <laughs> after the explosion. Oh man. And you'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. You control my click today. Oh, you're ready to click the all the time. Half of the body was wet. Yes. But the bottom half was so completely, completely dry. dry. Yep, you kept repeating that. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? Exactly. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no way Makoto could have done it! I'm in the clear! I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you! Thank you! In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Dang, Makoto was quick. He was like, yo, let me clear myself. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi. Which would mean that Makoto's Muk killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko's murdered someone. That's... I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Well, what's this coming from? Which is why I can't let that happen. What? Yeah, what? Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill Okay, anyone. that's all you had to say. <laughs> this Yo. is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. Can we believe you? Ah! Nah, I trust Kyoko. I trust Kyoko. I can't. I can't just not trust her all of a sudden. Yes. Shut up, you. <laughs> you got it, boss. Shutting up now. Oh, he actually listened. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Oh. Yeah, what reason is that? Thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind mm, behind that be that's a good motive because she did. So but she Kyoko says I'm not wrong, so okay, I want to hear what right, Kyoko, Kyoko means with that. But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all, and as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. Hmm. That's an interesting theory, man. If she had a motive and no alibi, well then, I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. Mm. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation what? is still insufficient. Hey, 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 don't. Huh? <laughs> hey, why are you dragging me back the into this? Didn't get the body wet. But that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it to me. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, why'd you pull me down with her? <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. The tarp. The tarp, man. I'm listening. And he's all for it. All it <laughs> Dang it, Kyoko. <laughs> why you gotta do that? Something to keep it from getting wet. Uh, I'm so curious about this chicken, though. Okay. I got okay, we got You're my three hearts the now. Tarp. Mm -hmm. Aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. But she didn't investigate. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Dang, the dirt pattern? Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. Mm-hmm. 
Dang. Side that face down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. Mm -hmm. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? That's a good question, yeah. Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. Mm. You think Makoto thought that far ahead? In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Hey. Why would Kyoko say that? <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> well, she wants to make me look like the killer. No, I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, that tarp must have touched the body, right? Mm, that means it would have had blood on it. But the body. Wait, something's not right. Yeah. And what might that be? I care about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's going to think I'm the killer. After a few, what Kyoko said. Mm -hmm. By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side was the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. I remember the blood on the body hadn't dried yet. Togami even warned us not to touch it to avoid getting any blood on it. Down toward the body. Of course it didn't get dirty. No, but it would get dirty because okay, okay. Nope. No, I wanted to click that of it. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, there we go. No, it's wrong. And this <laughs> Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Yeah, but they were bleeding. They got stabbed in the chest. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Mm-hmm. Yakuya said it himself. He did. He did say it. Or you might get some on you. That was really thoughtful of him. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. So then... Well, well, it's a tarp for then. It, so nobody would know they used it. But then both sides would be clean. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Yeah, what? The body, the blood was camouflage. Yeah, what? Yeah. Uh the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to oh the bits is also fake blood but that's just a possibility same same thing yeah exactly no that's not what happened this time oh she's saying it was actually someone's blood? blood from right there in the garden the chickens ah yeah that explains the missing chicken Dang, recipes chicken. Then with the body. Could it have been chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? That's kind of nasty. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? Yeah, but then what about the stab to begin with? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. Hmm. Yeah, is that. So, but it's only on that one area. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. And then it's covered by the another... was completely clean. Yeah, so what's... I have to agree. That certainly is strange. It is. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. Hmm. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? No. How do you know about that? Um, I think oh yeah, so. she checked it out. Yeah, what we talking about? 
Yeah, the thing was backwards. That's the first thing I noticed. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Then that settles it. Settles what? Yeah, what? The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Yeah, I follow that. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they, they pulled person. the coat over the body. The coat they already covered in blood. They covered the coat in blood. This ah. series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Mmm, that's a lot of steps. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off, at 7.30. After you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Yes. Oh no, I headed off to the gym and Makoto didn't show up till later. Dang it, yeah that but did happen. Plenty of time to spare. Hey, Thank yo, you. Kyoko, are we on the same side? <laughs> that's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. What? Why are you press? Why is she pressing me all of a sudden? <laughs> Come on, what is this? Kyoko's reasoning is sound. It is. Kyoko's it is. alibi is inadequate. Yo, what's Kyoko's alibi? She hasn't said anything about her alibi. Okay. I thought. I thought you. I thought we were like forming a relationship, a pact. But I guess not. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I, yeah, I don't understand either, Makoto. The narrator. <laughs> the narrator gave us something? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. Yeah. So, what about it? Yeah, what about it? What's she about to say? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that mm -hmm. knife somewhere before. Yo, it actually is not looking good for Makoto, That's what actually. I when I first saw it. I just Man, this really isn't looking good on him. Listen, more important. Now we have the knife. What are we going to do with yep, the knife that we found? <sighs> yep, and then they gave it to me. Because Toko didn't want it. And everyone trusted it with me. <sighs> this is really not looking good, man. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? Ay, ay, ay. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. But he didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just... Oh, he's going to tell them about what happened? I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought that maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Yeah, that. Very ah. suspicious indeed. Makoto, man. This thing looking good, Makoto. man. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. 12,000% convinced. Yo, I will say something and he'll be 12,000% unconvinced. <laughs> okay, I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. Okay, what is he gonna say? What can we bring up now? Spots that body exploded analysis, fragments near the body. Okay, we have nothing to do with the explode body analysis, so. What's this? Okay, I'll let it play out. Hey, Hina, you know I didn't do it, right? <laughs> like, that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once? Yeah, like, automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? Nah. So there's no well, question. It wasn't getting stabbed. It wasn't getting stabbed. Yep, yep, so okay. So it's the, um, so actually it is the, um, the, the, the exploded body analysis. It's a body analysis, yo. We've already established that the coat was put on her after the tar was moved, which means that the knife was thrust into the coat into the body. Yeah. Because the body's already dead, then they were stabbed. Okay, I follow. Okay, I follow now. It makes sense in my head now. If he did have that, that seals it. Just because I had it, that automatic. Well, getting stabbed is what killed me. Okay, I get it. <laughs> when they said disguise dead body, I was like, wait, what's that? <laughs> okay. okay, I follow that. That makes sense. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. The knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Mm-hmm. Meaning yep. 
If she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. Yep. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. <laughs> Yo, that's kind of... That's, 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 that's crazy. The victim was stabbed twice in the same spot. No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body was written down for everyone to see. The Monokuma file. I got it. The Monokuma file. Yeah. Clearly <laughs> that's like what? Well, yeah. There's only yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. I had me second guessing that. From the night was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. Exactly. Wait, is Kyoko doing all this? No, she's not, she's not doing they all this to help clear my name. Draw attention away from what actually killed him. And that means the knife wasn't from me. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. Mm -hmm. But we know that before there was the hit to the head. Attempt to destroy all According to the Monokuma file. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Yeah, whoever did this, they really went all out with this. I have a question. Oh, yeah. I got it. Yep. Yep, we got that. After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? Mm hmm. That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Yep. The same on Akuma yeah. bomb. Like so you just carrying this whole time, Makoto? Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. Mm -hmm. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that would be Kyoko. Is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Yakuya. Oh, then Makoto really going to be chauvinist with this? He's like, yo, no, she was trying to point fingers like at me, but... We need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. Yeah, true. There's so many questions still that need to be answered. I mean, I was saying this earlier when we were doing an investigation, but... The only one who had access to that key thing in... Let me talk, man. The only thing that... The only person who had the key thing that was in Kyoko's room, the only one who had, who had access to her room was Togami. But, I don't know, man. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? Wait, is it, wait, it's only Monokuma file? Hold up. Okay. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. Hey, yeah, we're finding the cause of death. Right, yep. Right? Okay. There's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Yep, hit on the back of the head. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, she was already told me. The fatal her. injury, yeah. And it wasn't he because of okay, so I think I know what to do. Um, that's gotta be it. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to hold it so I could click that and then do that. Okay, I know what to do. That she was hitting the back of the head. Yeah. That's what I try and do the first time. Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? They didn't have anything to do with it? No. Nada. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Yeah. yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. 
Yeah, probably from being part of Fen Rear. Fen Rear. Indeed. Dot com. <laughs> the Monokuma file says she was hit with a blonde object about as thick as a metal pipe. Mama metal pipe. Oh, okay. I bet it was the pickaxe. It's the arrow. Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon. I have. I got Not that I clipped the rock in by accident. Zukuro <laughs> was hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed him. Mm-hmm. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Mm. Arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? Mm. That sounds kind of weird. Hey! How dare you back talk, master? You have no right! I'll talk, talk back talk him if I want. I'm just saying You're not going to do anything. I'm blaming Hina for doubting it. Because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Uh, what's that? Um, what? What, there's no bow? Woodlock. Oh, the key. Oh, there's also the bloody tuck tape. Okay. Okay, let's see what, what this conversation is about, though. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? Yep, it is the murder weapon. You That's a fact. Convinced. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? Oh, because it's titanium like arrow. Would just be too thin. Oh, because it's titanium. Back to master. You have no right. Yeah, okay, so that's the tell because it's titanium. Because there's nothing else, right? Yeah. Okay. This don't sound... Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> I don't know how duct tape adds on to this, but... Oh, they use duct tape to tie them. Okay. The way they worded that made... Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker. That explains why the duct tape is bloody. Because they wrapped it up. Okay. That makes sense. That explains the murder weapon. Mm -hmm. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker. Mm, the one who had that key. It was you, Kyoko. Mm. I've never been to the dojo. Oh. Wait, what? Oh no. You absolutely yeah, were. Did were you in there when I was in there? When we were this Going around the school, like because we have proof, of course. Don't I guess we not. Well, anyways, yo, we, the, the, the key was in her room, though. Hmm. What's the matter? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. Oh. You know what will happen if you do, <clears throat> don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. Everyone dies except for the culprit. The death of us all. Remember. But that's if we of get this right. Or wrong. Then show us. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. I have evidence? Yeah, come on, man. Evidence that Kyoko went to the dojo. Please let me select. Don't make me do... Okay. <laughs> get the woodblock key. I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is... <laughs> right here. Hey, you want a mic too bad? How's it going? And how does that prove anything? Man, Kyoko. Because I found it in your room. Ugh. It was in my room? Mm-hmm. Don't bother trying to play dumb. Oh, yeah. So she didn't know. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Ah. Uh. That's what makes it sus though on your end though, Togami. You're the only one with the key to get into that room with that. So, into her room for that. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Hmm. Hold on a second. Ooh! Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her. Okay, Makoto, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. It's not that I want to defend her. It's just... There's one more thing I need to ask her. Oh, okay. 
What's that? I want you to tell me something. Uh huh. Oh yeah, why was she in this room? <laughs> like, what's going room, on there? <laughs> why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just protecting you. What? What? She was protecting me. <laughs> hey! Then does that mean she she fought the person when they came in? Hey, she knew I was being attacked. And she thwarted them off, and she came to my rescue. My hero. Could that be when... Which would mean that Kyoko... She killed someone for me? Well, that's kind of jumping to conclusions. That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. I have to say, yo, she could push them out the room or something, but... Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but Yo, this Tagami, is you're too quick ridiculous. with this, man. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Ooh. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. Hey. Because he, because, because he did, because she didn't have the key to even get in there. Yo. Okay. When the body was found. Okay, I think I have to... Okay, let's see. Let's, let's play out. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Why are you sweating? That's exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Mm-hmm. Yafia, what are you hiding? Ooh. Master, would he never hide something from me? Yo, everyone pressing him. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is there is proof. You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. The locker key room. Could I really have done proof. that? Proof. The locker key in my own room. Correct. You are the culprit. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yo. That. <laughs> Yo. Yo, hero is a whole package of entertainment right there. Mm -hmm. Because she had given a room key to Byakuya. Mm -hmm. I see. So that's what you meant. Yeah. And if I had the key to your room, how could she have grabbed the thingy to do the thingy and then kill the no duty and do all that stuff? Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Mm hmm. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. Is she? Would appear not. Yep. Then you're finally starting to understand. Yep. No, that's not actually true. But what? There's a clear contradiction with what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. But this... This isn't like her. What? To try and save herself with such a desperate lie. What, is there something else in there? After... Wait. What'd she say? Was she really mean? Really feel that threatened? Because she's the killer? Or is it something else? What can I do? What should I do? What should I? The mastermind's trap. The victim was Makoro, and Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the, one, I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? Who am I? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose. So I have to pursue the lie. I don't say anything or I run away? Let's run away. This game trying to give me choices when I already know that they're not going to give me any choices. <laughs> Ain't no way. 